Hey, I'm Forrest and this is Chad and today we're on his boat and I'm gonna just ask him some questions about you know tiny living and uh, he's gonna show us around. Cool. Yeah. Come on up. So this would be the main space? This is the whole boat. So how long have you lived on this boat for? Um, four and a half years. Oh yeah? Yeah. And how come you moved on? Um, I just wanted to. I, yeah. I moved out here and I was like, I was gonna move on, I wanted to be on the water and I wanted to have a boat and then just made sense. It's Victoria, so you can live on a boat. So mm -hmm. just get one big enough to live on. I don't need any more than this and it's kind of like best waterfront property and freedom and yeah, you know, it's yeah, minimal living, but it's nice when you move to something like this, you purge and... How did you find the change from like going from... I thought it was going to be a little bit hard yeah. to start with, but it was, honestly, it was, it's, I love it. I yeah. loved it right off the bat. Like I never... <laughs> Mother Nature rocks you to sleep every night and it doesn't get much better than that. You really start realizing how much extra stuff you have mm -hmm. when you first move into one like this, but you're just, cause like meeting your seats there, your dresser and then storage and cookware and then. Yeah, so you every, know. everything has to be kind of tucked away. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, literally like all shirts are in there mm -hmm. and then, you know, it's like cookware, and then like storage of like water and toiletries and everything else and then a little more clothes and then then it's got more dishes and then food goes in there and then you pretty much your drawers right and that's it that's it so you have fresh water hookups here where you are at the um park, i got a i got a, a big holding tank oh yeah so I'll fill up here or if I go out I'll fill up anywhere where they have a hose and just mm. fill up your fresh water and that's about it. So how come a power boat over a sailboat or something like that? Um I I well honestly I didn't know how to sail. Oh yeah. And I've learned a bit about sailing. Yeah. And it takes a lot longer to get anywhere. <laughs> Cuz you have to zigzag and you got to hope for wind or not too much wind and right I enjoy it I enjoy going out sailing but I I don't know I like the power boat I think now that I've had this one I'm looking now but it's hard to make the transition but I would I'd like more of a trawler style like a mm. like a, something that cuts through the water nicely it goes a little bit slower but it's got a lot more space on it right. yeah. they're way more economical mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's different things. I think it's kind of like anything when you move into a place for the first time, you do it, and then you're like, yeah. you figure out what you really want out of it. Yeah. Adjust <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you can it. get one with a little more kitchen and a little less something else. And yeah. Yeah, so. Cool. Like the bathroom, yeah. you can get a lot. Like this is the style of bathroom we got here. It's, it's, you know, you got your toilet and your sink, and then the curtain pulls around, and your sink thing comes up and hooks in there, and that's your shower. Cool. So it's be nice to have like a little bit of a separate shower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the docks all come with all that stuff. So right. they come with washers and dryers and and uh, washrooms with full showers and everything. So if you got to pay the margin, it includes that. It's Take advantage of it. Yeah. yeah. It's less cleaning at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Walk up the dock and clean less is yeah. kind of my preference. So what have been some ch challenges? in this kind of lifestyle? Um, I'd say cooking is my biggest challenge. Yeah. Because I love to cook. But like I said, once I started using the Coleman stove, I really like that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot better. And then I got the, oven. so I'd, that'd be another thing. You can get like stoves with like full stove on a boat, right. which that'd be like a hundred times better. People talk about heat, but honestly being in Victoria, I think I've probably got one of the warmest places. Yeah. There's like a little tiny, like a ceramic heater. Uh huh. And this boat's fairly well insulated. And I mean, I put it on low and I tell them for maybe 15 minutes, I have to shut it off at the night. <laughs> and it holds the heat in here. Yeah. Whereas, you know, a lot of places in Victoria don't have heat and single pane windows. And yeah. So have you done any uh, trips with it or are you just. Um, yeah. No, I try and go out fairly regular. Um, Sometimes it gets stuck in the dock for a while, but mm -hmm. I like to get out, get crabbing, and got a downrigger on it to try and catch my own fish. And oh, nice. them. I did jigging before, but it's not a downrigger, it's just a lot better way to go in the ocean. Yeah. But it took me four years to get one, so. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've been up to the Broken Group, mm -hmm. Euclid and uh, Banfield. Yeah. So. Nice. That was uh, 
it was a bit of a white knuckle trip up, but it was super smooth on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty intense. Are you fairly equipped for like offshore like that? Um, I don't have radar, which is what I'd like to have. Mm -hmm. I have all my mapping and my navionics and all that. Mm -hmm. But like we got into um, pretty heavy weather, like as far as the waves go. And then it just like, as soon as we hit past Souk, it was like fogs you couldn't see. Yeah. You won't be able to see that boat across there <laughs> for the rest of the way up almost. Wow. Yeah, so that was pretty, a little bit freaky, yeah. but, but it was good. Nice. Good experience, that's for sure. Would you recommend this type of lifestyle to somebody that's wanting to downsize? Or? 100%. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. I love it. And everybody I know that lives, lives on a boat loves it. Yeah. yeah. There's a few people that, you know, stars in their eyes and want to get a boat and just think it's, but, and then it's just not for them. But yeah. I don't know, man. It's, if you, you know, even if you had to get a bigger one for a couple, you know, to have a little more room to yourself, mm -hmm. just tiny bit, but. For definitely for a single person, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're sitting on the water every day, and you've got a tiny little space to look after. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a guy, so pretty much every day it looks like a bomb went off in here, and then like five minutes later it's clean. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> if, you, if the only thing you ever had to clean up was your room, which is basically like a boat. Yeah. And that's your kitchen and your living room and everything else, then that's pretty sweet. Very cool. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways you can live in smaller spaces than that. Mm -hmm. It's great to be on the water for one, mm -hmm. but um, the community. There's always these little communities wherever you go and they're all welcoming. You pull in, as soon as you start pulling in, everybody runs out, grabs your ropes, helps you tie up. Yeah. And they're like, if there's anything wrong with the boat or this or that, they help you work on it. And That's awesome. Yeah, just everybody inviting everybody over all the time. It's like... It's quite a bit different than an apartment building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where, you know, you could live all in there and just everybody just like sticks to themselves sometimes. And, yeah. You know, it's pretty cool that way. It's, it's definitely all the areas I've been in. They're sometimes a little bit, you know, like anywhere else, like a different community, different people. But yeah. they're all still community. They're just pretty welcoming and everybody chats to each other all the time. Nice. Yeah.